Hello everyone and welcome to a episode of City Skyland where I'm going to be working a little bit on this city and trying to improve various things. Most specifically, the traffic. Because if we look at the traffic, no that's not the one, if we look at traffic everywhere, no, uh, it's here, there we go, we can see we've got traffic snarls everywhere and it even extends to our rail network. So I think we're going to be focusing on the rail network to start with because that's probably the easiest one to fix up. It just, just a little bit of fixing and that should be a little bit better because I think I know what the main problem with that is. Now for that we're going to have to zoom out to our big map and so we've got our four railway connections. One, two, three, and four. And I think the biggest problem I've got at the moment is that I'm actually taking cargo and passengers from all four of these routes which is not ideal. So what I think I should be doing today is separating the passenger and the cargo routes. So firstly we need to work out where our passenger routes are and we've got one here which is accepting passengers from all over the place I think as well as passengers from to here. So what that probably would mean is that I'm best making sure this north-south line is passenger only and then cutting it from there because I think this line takes passengers, I'm not entirely sure, it needs to be on the left side. And there we go. So that one's travelling to Space End Station, which is over here. So, yep, so if we go below our into here, and we can see there's our railway line. So if we go into a railway, we need to go below, and yeah, so this one needs to come across to here. Uh, these ones here need to be cut off, so I don't need that. Or that. I don't need that. Okay, let's see. I don't need any of that. I do need to. F I think I will fix this up a little bit. So let's do it like that and change that to a S curve. And nice and short. And there we go. Probably not ideal. There we go. So, and we need to make sure to upgrade this because I think some of it was. Some of it all goes one way. I think that's all good now. So, uh, go underground, fix that. Okay, so let me just change that, that, and then we can get started and see how that goes. Well, no matter, I have noticed that there's this line down here where my mouse is that comes across to here, and I'm happy to leave that one since it's a completely self contained loop. All it does, it just goes, just has this passenger, this cargo and that's it. So I do need that cargo because I don't have anywhere else that can dump cargo in. Well, I suppose it can come from here, but I do need both of them to keep up with the amount of stuff in this area. So that is going to be there for the time being. I think I'm going to turn my music down just a little bit. Change that. There we go. That should be a bit better. So, so I think that's all fixed up. So I just need to keep an eye on it. And there's our passenger train, and there we go, it's working. So that one's working. Hopefully along here there's a cargo, and there we are. Where's that one heading? That one is heading to cargo train terminal, which is there, so good. That one's all sorted, so we've got one of our connections done. <sighs> okay, so now we have to work with our two train abouts and see what we can do. First things first, we can actually double some of this track, so we've got a double one-way track I think. There we go. So if we have doubles between each of the stops, each of the turn-offs, so there as well, that should improve just a little bit of the efficiency of this. So they can go through double track, they can hopefully pass each other, and then I'll be single in there, which means they can then turn off. So this one is going across, which isn't quite why I intended, but you can see that one can still keep going around, even though, yeah. So the intention is that this train if there's a train coming on this line here, it would come across into the inside loop and keep going round. And this train being this train would use the inside one because he's just going off there. So there we go. So that's done. So what the aim here is, I only want to keep I want to keep two lines for passengers. So I'm going to keep that one obviously for passenger, well passenger and cargo I guess, but passenger mostly. And we're going to keep, I think, we're going to keep this north one as passenger only. So that means we need to first disconnect this one from the internal loop and change this to double. 
Okay, we need to change. So yeah, that. Okay, so this line needs to come out because it's not going to do anything. If we just let the crane fall into the water and keep going from there. This is a really long one because it really needed to be to keep up with all the traffic that was going through it. So, if I take one from here and take it direct into here and then change this cargo line, and that should work a bit better. So let me do that, fix that up now. Now, what are the other changes that's going to have to mean is that this line here is going to have to change as well. So if I do double to here, well, there's a line under there. Let me get rid of that. There we go. So if I bring this one here and then have a single line going there somehow, might need to bring it back a bit. There we go. So one... And it's going to have a curve somehow, like that, and one, because I don't want these two lines to cross. Uh, let me see, if I have one heading this way, tunnel, like so, tunnel further, let me, let's make an S-bend, and curve round, come up and join up there we go so that should have fixed that up so the passenger that one should disappear so passengers should now be separate hopefully that one gets used because i'm not certain if that is from what i understand but we'll have to we'll keep an eye on it so we don't need this one anymore because i think this center line should be able to cope so let's leave that go for a little while and looking at that, I think that's already massively improved this line. If we go to our traffic manager again, where is it? There we go, the routes. We can see this is all green. There's a bit of orange there when it joins up, but overall it's pretty green. Of course, that's orange, but that's always going to be orange because we've got a ton of traffic coming in here. I did actually remove the line, the road going across here because that was causing a lot of, tr of these trucks to come out here come back across and then back into their railway station. So this way, they just spawn, they come to here, and then they despawn, which should make things a little bit quicker. I just realized I was in, it was in uh, debug mode or whatever you call it. So those trains should go across like that. Now why is that doing that? So he wants to go across to there. He's trying to go the same way. So that's not necessarily a problem. There's not much I can do about that. Unless I want to force him into there, which is probably not possible, but we'll leave that for now. So I think that's working. There's one more thing I want to do with the rails, and that's this. I don't see the need for it to be raised anymore. It was, I think it was only raised so I could potentially do a few more things, but no. So that can be lowered. So what I'll do, I think it's just bulldoze a lot and start again. So a little bit more bulldozing to go. Let's get this done. I think for this we're going to try and use the roundabout builder for the very first time. So if we do that with a road roundabout, hmm, I'm not sure that's going to be big enough. I might need to try again. Okay, so let's actually just do a quick little intersection here. Doesn't really need to be that big. All right, so okay, Control O. We want the roundabout there, and we want them even bigger. Because uh, we do need this to be reasonably big so it can join up with all the lines and we can have our wide sections. Okay, so that should do a bit better. So, get our, our railway tool. We need it to be one way. Get our curve. Start there. And hopefully that's enough. That's too much. So yes, we're just going to try and meet this as much as possible. Mm, that's nearly there, I think. Probably not going to be the most perfect roundabout in the world. Yeah, that's probably too big. Okay, so we'll let that go for a little bit more and see how we go. Okay, so I've let this run for a little bit while. I've also upgraded some of the truck to double in areas, which should hopefully improve whatever efficiency we can get out of this. Now, this thing's probably a little bit too close. You can see that train is not going to go in. So if we just pause again... Delete that, and yeah, we need to delete all that and put in a new line, which shouldn't take too long. I do want it to come from this side. 
to the trains aren't crossing each other when they're coming from the north and coming around. So if we come out a little bit, go down, come under and link up and that should work quite nicely. So let's let that run. So that one should be going all the way around and for some reason he's crossing and he's going to the outside lane which he should and there he goes. That makes me think, should I just make that double? Should I make it double all the way around? And I think, I think I will. It should, that's 60 or so, 30 or so. It yeah, is double, but that makes sense. Yeah, let's make it double. Shouldn't, I don't, I'm not expecting too much traffic through here yet, but there may come a time. There we go. That may come a time where I'm gonna be grateful to have double through here because of some of our later improvements. You can see that it's going through there and it's a little bit slow going through there so we might need to look at that at some point in the future. It's actually a little bit tip of a tip while I'm working on through this. If we're going to have drop-offs like this as well where ships come in and drop off stuff we should note that we shouldn't don't need to let them go back to their store. You can see shellfish. Actually let's pick that one. So we've got a shellfish for the Qing Harbour there may go down a little bit, we'll, but we'll watch this one. So when that one goes in, it should go down. So you can see it's been going down already. Three, and it should go down to two. There we go. So th what that proves is that the ships, the trucks there will just despawn and come back here, which should actually mean that I can reduce the amount of trucks or money I spend on fishing, because that is just ridiculously ridiculous so if I do that let me see where's the fish it's the so that is going to affect my other ones as well but for the time being since I don't have anything I'm going to reduce it all the way to zero to give myself as low as I can to give myself maximum profit so that should see my income shoot up a little bit more now that I've got a bit more cash I might splurge a little bit more on some of this so I do want to keep myself at around to 10 million. Yeah, one more, I think. So that should keep should make my income go up a little bit more just with the game mechanics. So let's work out what we need to do next to improve the system. So what I'm seeing a lot with these cars is that they're all trying to export out to the region. If we just go to our junctions and we can see there, so if we take away everything that's not the truck, that's not trucks, so we can see there some of them are going in there for some read reason, they, yeah, they're just going to export. Like some of them are coming in here, but a fair portion are actually just going out to the region. So what we want to do is take a lot of that onto trains. Now, I actually recorded this clip and it didn't quite work, so I'm going to redo it again. Here it is. I put in a new cargo terminal up here. And already you can see some trucks are starting to use it, so that's a very good sign. So we just connect that up, there we go. So that should start supporting trains and that should start going to the region as well. One other thing I noticed is that actually I don't need to have these trains all coming into a single into here. So I kind of forget to start getting rid of these things, which is going to be beneficial. That one too, which I don't know if it's being used much. In fact, it probably isn't being used at all because it's just an import there and I've made sure those can't turn in. So, let's actually fix that. Uh, let's see, how do we do that? Like that. Some of you can start going in. Uh, that's a little bit complicated. Like that, I think is how I want it. So you can start turning in and that should start, should connect there and same with the red. So let me, I'll start fixing up then we can probably, we'll get, have to get rid of the train about as well, I think. But we'll, yeah, we'll start fixing up these rails as well. Alrighty, so I think I've fixed that up. I've got myself a train up here, if I just let that go. The, this one isn't doing much up here at the moment, but the one over here, which is still producing very much. I've got another one over here, which I think is producing. You can see a train. And we've got ourselves more over here as well. One of the things I did am trying to notice is that we are getting a lot of traffic once again along this line, which isn't too much of a problem because this roundabout is starting to handle it. But yeah, we may need to figure out a new one for here. 
or here because these I think it's these on ones that are really slowing it down you can see there slow 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 and most of these ones are going most of these are going to the right which may or may not be a problem yeah we do want to force some of them south as well because I don't think it really matters which way they go you can see a lot of them a fair number are going this way as well and there's a bare bit of despawning problems there so that might mean we need to fight, figure out a third way out of here for cargo or force it all into force, make sure there's no external routes at, at, at all something to think about something to think about indeed however to cope with all the traffic here which doesn't seem to be too bad I was thinking about putting another train about in here and seeing if that would work better but we'll have to th think about that and watch the traffic and see if it go needs doing. I've been letting this run for, oh, I don't know, about half an hour or so, maybe 10, 20 minutes, I'm not exactly sure. But it seems to me that the traffic really isn't getting that much better. We're not taking enough cargo out of these four stations. And you can see there's a fair bit of traffic jam, there's a fair bit of traffic jam. Well, okay, that's lightened up a little bit, but it's definitely not lightened up enough. And the same over here. So the traffic snarl over here is still going to keep getting worse. It's somewhat better, like it's not noticeably better, but it's still it's still a little bit better. So I think with our new cargo hub that we or cargo airport hub, we should put that somewhere around here. We can see a purple lines. I think if we put that around here, have a train line. Oh wait, no, the train line's there, so we need the train line to come up and go through so that's a little bit of a problem i think so yeah because we do want the thing to be reasonably close to get it, get everything out hmm a little bit of a problem there okay so if i put take a freeway exit here and there maybe and put a one-way line across here so that should do should be enough to get myself the train the hub the train hub in cargo hub in will it fit the slope's too steep there we go so that should do very nicely i think so now we just need to get the train line in and we'll be set i'm starting to wonder if the solution to my traffic problems or train traffic problems is to prevent uh cargo trains leaving the map because i do want to be able to have passenger trains both entering and leaving the map but i don't want Really, I don't really want cargo trains doing the same. So I really want them using the airport because that's going to that's going to well, we'll put a lot of pressure on this train line, but it will mean that they're actually despawning a lot quicker. They're going to here, and from the looks, pretty much instantly getting rid of their cargo. So that may or may not be the solution. I'm going to have to try a little bit and see what happens because I don't. I need to do both sides realistically. So if I convert this to going the other way then all the trains here will start despawning, which will help a little bit. But I need to do the same on this side, so as not to put undue pressure on it. So that should do quite nah wait a minute. That one, that one's a self-contained line, so that one's fine. Um, so let's leave it like that. But there is another line down here somewhere, which is also chock-a-block. So I need to leave that one as that one. And then I should be able to get rid of this line because that's just a temporary... That wasn't... Well, it's not a really temporary line. It was a line to try and prevent... Try and get rid of some of the traffic along here. So if I get rid of all this... Uh, bring that up to here again... And like that, get rid of all of that, and that good. Well, it's actually going to prevent me from bringing any traffic if I do that. But I do. I just want cargo trains coming in because they'll hit the cargo station and then despawn. So let's just keep getting rid of that line, and we should start to see hopefully the amount of cargo trains coming and going out go way down. That may or may not cut my profits heaps, but we'll see. 
I'm not really sure why passenger planes are landing here. It's definitely a cargo airport or a cargo integrated hub, so that is working. But overall, I think I've, I've actually cleaned up this line quite a bit. If we zoom out to our passenger lines or our cargo lines, that's not cargo lines, there's I think it's working pretty well. We still got that one servicing pretty well. But for the most part, I think all our lines are now properly sorting. So they're all just going to they're all going to end stations where they're gonna de depart. So quite a few trains are going the long way round to South Bank for some reason, to over here. Which isn't too bad. It just means I do gonna may need to expand this thing a little bit more at some point soon. So that is working pretty well. Over here, I reckon, is going to work pretty well as well. A little bit of tailbacks. But overall, once we get once we get past the little intersection over here, it should be, seem to be working pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is working. We'll keep it going for a little while and see how it goes. But I think it's working. The downside we do have is there's not many trucks coming along here, which I'm not sure how to solve. There's, like... You can see there's just four at the moment, three at the moment. And that's not working too well. So we'll see how we go. Do you actually have a lot of demand for new people, which I don't want to fulfill, right? Because I do I want to leave this section here, but I need I'm gonna rework this entire area later on once I start working out how to do cargo a little bit better. I feel a feeling that my removal of the train lines, the external connections has actually had the consequence that most of my farming has actually decided to not go haywire and most of my ores as well because mo what they're doing is they're now transporting what well, everywhere and they seem to be going a little bit more to my over here well, I still got cargo problems over here though but what I have seen is that a lot of these things are saying no bias for producers they can't literally can't sell what they need so there might be an opportunity to actually start reworking this area but i'm going to do that in a future episode possibly next possibly the one after that i'm not quite sure it is one of the things that i want to get done pretty quickly because it is one of the things that will start generating me a lot of money so i will probably end the episode here so thank you for watching as i redesigned my train network a little bit more it's still a little bit of tailbacks should hopefully clear up soon so there we go here yeah. so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one and i hope you enjoyed it see you soon bye